Hey everyone, welcome back to the Millennial Living Grocery Hall. So guys, this time around we've done something different. Usually we go to Costco or Sam's Club or Walmart or our local grocery store, but this time we went to H Mart. So if you guys don't know what that is, that's basically like a grocery store for Asians. And when I mean Asian, I mean Japanese, Korean, Chinese. And I believe they're out of New York and they have locations now around the country. And so we went there today. So they have a nice variety of items. And here's the deal, guys. If you're interested in how to make this, definitely check out our channel, Food Prep Inc. And also, if you want to know what we think of the actual products, we actually taste it, we review it. Check out our channel, 5 Minute Eats. First one up is cheese balls. Now, this one I've never heard of, but my wife, she said she's seen YouTube influencers eat these. And I got to admit, it looks good. Cheese balls, fries, looks like mustard, jalapeno. It's got to be good, right? Next up, guys, is Bibigo. And this is a brand on our 5 Minute Eats channel. A lot of people from South Korea love watching us review. Now, this one is a pork, beef, and vegetable. And it looks yummy. I've never seen a Bibigo at Costco, uh, the pot stickers, that is. So I was super excited when I saw this. And here's the thing about the Bibigo, guys. And it's related to the next product. And that's this thing, dumplings. So we actually... In our one of our baby go videos we were talking about how to make uh, this sauce then several Koreans actually told us hey you can buy this at the store or you can make it yourself so us being millennial living right we gotta just buy it and so I think this is the right sauce for the dumplings we'll find out so guys when you think of Asian products what do you think of you think of ramen and all those kind of items right so this is something that actually someone from our five minute East channel asked us to review this I gotta admit I love the packaging it says it's very spicy so I don't know about that I do love spicy but lately I can't really handle it but this thing just the packaging alone I'm excited about next up guys when we Americans think of Korean food what do we think of kimchi so I saw this kimchi ramen gotta admit the picture alone just made me want to buy it next up guys is the drinks and this one I gotta admit was a big surprise to me the reason is this is actually a product of Hawaii and it's pineapple orange I'm gonna assume this is very popular with the Japanese so if you've seen our previous grocery haul I've told you my wife loves Thai tea now we came across this one this is something we've never seen before and I gotta admit looks good next up is an old friend of ours Mr. Brown now we've actually reviewed several of his drinks but never seen the cappuccino till now I'm excited about this one. In Japan, canned coffee is very popular, and this is the company that started it all, so I'm interested how this is gonna be. Now, this one is very fascinating. It looks like a Starbucks cup, and it comes with a straw and everything like that. I believe it's hazelnut, and I'm not really sure what the deal is. It's got Japanese or Korean writing on it, I'm really excited to find out what the deal with this one is. If you'd like to support this channel, the easiest way to do that is using our Amazon links the next time you shop there. Now this one is from Korea. I don't really know too much about it because it has a lot of Korean on it, writing that is. But it does say it's brown sugar. It's another one of those that looks like a Starbucks cup. And I'm excited. This is going to be interesting. Now guys, take a look at this thing. Doesn't it look like a soda? So this is interesting because apparently this is like sake or something like that. Now it's got 6% alcohol. And here's the thing. We actually don't drink in this household. But I came across this. It looks yummy. And it was pretty funny because when I got to the counter to check out, the lady asked me for an ID and I was kind of like thrown back, wondering what that was all about. Then it dawned on me later, this is alcohol, makes sense. When I saw this, I was super excited. In India, we have a lot of jackfruit trees and so they just grow, you know, very um, abundantly and I take this for granted. But here in America, you don't come across this and when you do, they're never ripe. Now this one, it looks ripe. Hopefully it tastes good. So this is a jackfruit. This was about five bucks. Now here's the deal with these things. This is a small jackfruit, like looks like maybe a quarter of the jackfruit. These things can be really big. Now guys, this is a product of China and it's fruit mochi. And we've actually reviewed several refrigerated ones, but this one doesn't need to be refrigerated. And this one, I believe it's matcha, which is very popular with people. And this, it looks good. Now here's another item that I think is a dessert and this is a Korean pancake and the reason I think it's a dessert it says brown sugar. It could be like breakfast item or something like that but doesn't this look yummy? Next up guys is the brown sugar boba ice cream bar. Now me personally I'm not a big fan of the boba but 
my niece, she says it's very popular and when the young kids tell you something, you gotta listen, right? Next up guys is the Hello Panda chocolate cracker slash cookie and looks like the inside has chocolate filling or something like that. It's cute, Hello Panda, Hello Kitty. I thought I'd try it. I gotta tell you, doing these grocery hauls make me really hungry. So I was prepared, I actually got kimchi fried rice and there's an egg in it and it's freshly made at the store and take a look at this thing. It looks yummy. Now I've actually never tried kimchi so this is gonna be my first time. I figured I would dip my toes in it by having fried rice and egg and all that and it should probably make the, the first experience a good one. Our final product of the day guys is chicken teriyaki. The reason I got it, if I don't like the kimchi fried rice, I'm gonna like this one, hopefully. All right guys, that's the video. If you like what we're doing here, definitely check out our other channel, 5 Minute Eats, and don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.